In this video, I'll be using PowerShell to disable add privacy feature message in Google Chrome and all the features that comes with it. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video and I will leave the URL in the description down below. And if you don't know what add privacy message is, it's the screenshot that you see here. And we get this message after installing Google Chrome on a new computer. And here you can see the PowerShell snippet that I will be using to disable the message and all the features. Basically, it works by creating registry entries in a Windows registry. And here you can see all the registry entries that this PowerShell snippet will create. The first one is to disable the message itself. The second one is to disable add measurement feature. Then after that is the add topics one. And the last one is site enabled ads. All registry entries are created in this location. And because we need to disable them, we are using the value zero. Anyways, I will copy the snippet by clicking on the button right here and then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have this Windows virtual machine. And if I open Google Chrome here, you can see that we get the message for add privacy features. And because I cannot close Google Chrome until I interact with this message, I will open Task Manager and close it from here. Because if I open it again, I still get the message. So let's close it one more time then let's open the terminal application and run it as administrator let's insert the snippet and let's press enter and if i open google chrome now we don't get the message for the add privacy feature also if i go to my settings privacy and security then add privacy and if, for example, if I go to add topics, we can see that the feature is disabled here. Same goes for site suggested ads and also for the ad measurement. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.